Hello everyone, and welcome to the celebration of the owner of this channel's birthday. My name is Oh My Darling, and we're gonna have some fun. There'll be trivia, and pizza, and parties, and... I'm being told that there's gonna be none of those things. Someone's giving me a signal to get out of the trash. Hey, if you didn't want me in your trash, didn't don't make it so freaking delicious looking, alright? My trash. Anyway, as you guys know, the boss has an affinity for raccoons. Why? Because he married one, obviously. His wife will tell you exactly the same thing. Now he needed an audio to put in here because obviously the YouTube algorithm doesn't like it when we don't leave something here for you guys to watch. Could have taken the day off, could have streamed, could have done a lot of things to make content, but you know what? You guys voted on me, your famous furry friend. Hmm. What does that say about you guys? That you got good taste, that's what it says. Hell yeah, because I'm the best. I'm Oma. Now, some of you who are new to the channel or aren't too uh, up and up with the lore, yeah, believe it or not, this guy has lore. Can you believe that? that? That's weird, right? But yeah, this place has lore. So there are multiple different storylines, multiple different universes. And do you know that this guy, this big lug, he's just coming up with more of them. That's right. He's going to be doing more uh, Trevor, the uh, vampire. So it's going to be like if Cyberpunk 2077, the role-playing game, and Vampire the Masquerade and World of Darkness had a baby. So he's smashing those two together like action figures kissing. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to see more of that. Um, we're going to see a lot more of uh, like the Pain Pain series as that continues. All the Lupin scripts that you guys love, uh, including Arranged. Lupin really has some amazing scripts, and he's going to do some more of those for sure. Uh, we're going to absolutely see more of the Wedding Night series, uh, which has been phenomenal. Uh, we're also going to get to see a little bit more. So, the Stroke of Midnight lore, you know, the stuff with me in it, the good stuff. Uh, that has taken a back seat, mostly because, like, not a lot of people know what's going on. Not a lot of people watch it. For some reason... His favorite character, meaning the big guys, uh, his favorite character is Akeetham, the Lich. And nobody listens to that guy. But he keeps making that content. Why? Because one, he needs to. And two, it's for him. Yeah, I know I'm just basically a puppet. And he is basically just like, hand up my bottom, making me say these things. But let's not break the illusion or the immersion, right? Anyway. So, as I was saying, those stories have gotten a bit big. Like, really big. So big, in fact, that he's having to, like, take a lot more time. Because, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, Mazarus doesn't, like, write things down. He's, uh, kind of lazy that way. And I get it. He's an improviser. I mean, as it is, as he's hand-puppeting myself right now, uh, I do not currently have a, um, script. I am just literally going as the wind takes me to make funny. And it's working because obviously I'm great at what I do. I mean, clearly that's why you all come here, right? Well, that and the garbage and the angst and the sexiness, the hot and heavy stuff, and also the, the, um, oh, what do they call them? Oh yeah, the, the, the pretty boys, the sad boys club. Which, I'm still thinking about making that a shirt, or or rather, he, he is still trying to make that a shirt. Um, <laughs> don't break the fourth wall. Uh, he's thinking about making a shirt with all the uh, sad boys on it and saying sad boys club. Or like making booty shorts that say sad boys club on them. Because who wouldn't wear that, right? Anyway, thank you guys for coming and celebrating this guy for turning 34 years old. Dang. Wow. Almost over the hill. Anyway, don't worry about that, though. And also, huge shout out to all those people on Patreon who, like, give us money so that we can, like, keep the lights on, quite literally, and also to buy trash. We have a small goblin to feed. And 
The boy is just getting hungrier and hungrier. He's growing. He's amassing. He will be taller than most. I am furred for my life. But don't worry. That's uh, that's uh, all beside the point. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, being candid, this year has been up and down as a roller coaster in 2024. Uh, and it seems like it, like it's been going on that way since 2020 and probably since 2016, if we're being honest. But that's beside the point. The idea is that, like, things are crazy, but, like, we're doing the best that we can. That's why he's creating content for you lovely people. So that you at home can sit by your fire, you know, listen to an audio, fall asleep in a chair, and let me sneak into your house and steal your candy. Okay, not your candy, but your trash. Not your trash? Okay, well, steal something. What do you mean not steal something? I'm a raccoon. It is by right of nature. You know, private property is in fact inherently theft. I may be an anarchist communist, but let me tell you something. I'm just spitting facts here, okay? Don't fall into the bourgeoisie. This is becoming something entirely different. This rant is like, okay, all right, let's 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 put the political stuff aside. I am a raccoon. If you think that I have monarchy as a raccoon. <laughs> you're an idiot. But you're lovely. You got them pretty big eyes. Yeah, see? You're smiling now. Everyone's happy. Good. You won't notice my hands in the trash. You're not supposed to notice my hands in the trash. That's mine. That's mine now. I take this. You were gonna throw it out. Why are you so mad? Why are you so upset that I'm taking a trash? Yeah, this you can tell that this is improvised, right? You can tell that there was no script at all. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of things coming. There's a lot of things to look forward to. Uh, I know this would be normally like the New Year's thing where everyone reflects on stuff, but uh, you guys were too busy being thirsty for that werewolf who's uh, kind of a butthead. I don't know why people like the character, I like the character too. Fenris is funny. He's hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, he's just one of those things. We're looking forward to like bringing back the Demon of Desire for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, honestly, the votes being for a Masquerade Ball is kind of amazing because my wife, Oma, she's the one who gave me the idea. She's like, hey, when we asked her like, hey, what, what kind of wishes would, would we like offer? And one of her first things was like, what if we do a masquerade ball? And I was like, how would we do that? And she's like, I don't know. That's your fault. That's that's your problem to have. And I'm like, I guess that's true. I guess once I record it, that will be my problem to have. And here we are. I haven't recorded it yet. Um, as of the 11th, which is when I'm recording this, uh, I should say the big man is recording this, not big man ASMR. That guy's cool. You guys should go check out his stuff. Um, but as, like, as Maz is recording this, uh... Boy, howdy, this is just what Adahada feels like. Now, for those of you who don't know what Adahada is, that's ADHD, but, like, better. Adahada. Adahada with the lights turned up. I blame my wife for this. Listen, Oma is very much like uh, Maz's stream of consciousness come to life. I mean, this is like letting a dog off a chain and it just chases every car that passes by and... Luckily, doesn't get hit, but like, oh boy, this, this was, you guys chose this, by the way. You could have had all kinds of things, but you guys said like, no, let's bring that furry little man back. And it's the right decision. I'm glad you made it. But like, this is what happens. This is what happens when there is no script, where just stream of consciousness, madness, hilarity ensues. Boy, howdy, am I trying to stretch this out to 10 minutes for the YouTube algorithm? <laughs> But, like, seeing behind the scenes, being able to see behind the curtain and peek into the life of Maz without, you know, crossing that weird parasocial relationship uh, kind of helps, you know, you at home understand why this is so important and also why it's so fun. This has been one of the most fun past years. Honestly, the past two, almost three years have been amazing being able to create content that he wants to make. 
without having to worry about like numbers per se. Sure, those audios don't do well. You know, the Lich audios. Ain't gonna stop him from doing them. He's gonna keep bringing Keith him back. You guys can't stop that. It's just gonna happen. This Halloween, I have no idea what he's gonna bring out. It could be me going trick-or-treating in every house and being like, hey, give me your candy or I'll eat your feet. <laughs> I mean, who knows? The world is our oyster right now, and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys at home getting to view all this, getting to listen, supporting the Patreon. It really does. It, it does our heart a lot of good. It's nice to see that the... I wouldn't say always hard work, but like audio work is very difficult. There's a lot of editing. This is the one audio that's probably not actually going to be edited. There's not going to be any like, if there's a flub, you guys are fully getting that flub. Why? Because this is just for me. This is my birthday audio. I can do what I want with it. It's my party. I can cry if I want to. And if I want to make you guys cry... I could probably do that, but I don't want to be mean to you. Unless you're into that, in which case I got out. I got commissions for you. Not me, but I mean masters. But you know what I mean. Again, I'm kind of a hand puppet right now. Now, also, I also want to point out that, like, you know, this coming year is going to be massive. Um, You guys may think I'm joking when I say I'm an anarcho-communist, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, I ain't lying. That's that's the real me. I believe that human beings should have rights of, like, housing and stuff. And, like, yeah. Go figure, right? Anyway, the reason I bring that up is this year we're going to be running through another series of elections here in the United States of America. So that means that we all have to get together and steal the government's garbage. Just... Everyone come together, steal a little bit of garbage. If we all come together and say, you know what? None of us is working this one. If the government shuts down, none of us should go to work. Now, in Texas, that might happen as of right now. We're supposed to have a huge winter storm coming. So for all I know, that might happen accidentally. <laughs> it's going to be like that one movie, Day Without a Mexican. No one talks about that movie anymore anyway. Like, I remember back when I was a kid, that was like a huge thing and then no one talked about it ever again. Though I don't remember actually watching the movie myself. I was in high school at the time. It was a weird time. I've heard about it. I should look it up. Adahada with the lights turned on. That's really loud. I'm very sorry. That's probably in your ear. This is not an ASMR, by the way. This is not me, like, trying to comfort you. This is just... Full stream of consciousness, something that you put on in the background. You're like, wait, did he say that he's what? What did he say about communism? What did he say about stealing from the government? What did he say about this? What? This was supposed to be like, yeah, it's a stream of consciousness because this is my birthday. Birthday. There's gonna be cake and ice cream. Assuming that I can afford it by then, but uh, probably not gonna have those things because... Uh, all the bills come at the end of the month for everyone, and then they come back at the beginning of the month. So you get hit from both sides. It sucks, and I hate being in America sometimes. I hate it because, like, unfettered capitalism is destroying the rest of us. Like, all of us are scrounging for our lives out here, and yet everyone's just like, The free market! The free market! Fuck your free market! Just let everyone live! It's not that hard! There's a lot of resources! Okay, okay. Calm. I'm calm. I know I've been getting feral and rabid, but I am a raccoon, and you guys clicked on this video. You should have known what was coming. It's in the tags. It is stream of consciousness, craziness, wildness. There is no one here to riff off. It is just me, baby. Just all me in my head, coming out all the words, just trying to shovel them out, pile them into the coal fire so I can keep this fire burning, baby. Whew. Admittedly, Maz probably should not have given me all those treats. The sugar is like coursing through my veins like giant radioactive rubber pants. I love it. I am going to crash hard later though, let me tell you. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, 
rubber pants. So here's the thing about pants, right? Pants are restrictive. We have to wear them when we're in society because they literally protect us from the elements. But like outside of that, there is no reason we have to wear pants, my guys. You can wear skirts. You can wear shorts. Who cares if you come in? Who cares about professionalism anymore? That idea should be dead, buried, and gone with. I don't need some three-piece suit motherfucker telling me about how to buy a car or whatever the fuck it is. Just wear comfortable clothes for the weather or whatever is comfortable. You know, if you want to sex it up, cool. That's great. You know, who doesn't like dressing to the nines, going to the dollar store and buying all the things that, you know, you shouldn't be buying, like toilet paper. I don't fucking know what you do with your time. I'm just saying, if I could dress up in a suit and go to the dollar store, it'd be hilarious. It's ironic. But, <laughs> but like I'm saying, pants are restrictive. Do not restrict yourself to wearing pants. And here's the other thing, ladies. Ladies, I'm looking at you to listen to me. You don't have to wear women's pants. If you want to beat the system, stop buying men's pants. Hear me out. Hear me out. If you don't want to wear purses no more, if you want to destroy the patriarchy, start wearing pants. Men's pants. Because they're comfy. You can get a belt too. You'll look sexy in it. Don't worry about it. It's not about the male gaze. It's not about that. What it's about is you have pockets now and you can steal so many more snacks and stuff them in your pockets and no one can stop you. Be the raccoon that you always wanted to be. Be the change you want to see in the world by taking every snacky cake from the fucking store. What are they going to do? They can't arrest all of us. If we all go to the store and each of us steal snacky cakes, they can't possibly stop all of us at once they had to like change black friday because they know that we could legitimately destroy the establishment and run over workers if we all gathered in mass and pretended every day was black friday and raided every walmart and every costco and all these stores they couldn't stop us <sighs> i don't know where that came from but that felt good. That felt great. Whew. Here I am. Being the change I want to be in the <laughs> I should put a huge... Hey, by the way, um, these are the express opinions of Omar. Not necessarily the express opinions of the channel. Do not follow what I say. I am a raccoon. I'm not even a raccoon. I'm an imaginary raccoon. If I could have a PNG of me just... Opening my mouth, open and open and open and close, right? That's what I would have. If I had the thought process of recording this in OBS, you guys could have had a full raccoon model just running around being fat, adorable, and me. Ugh. I am not going to animate this, though. Um, I could hand this over to uh, Core Circuit and be like, Hey, Core Circuit TV. I know that's not your name, but that's your Twiddle handle. And Twiddle? God. On a hotter with the lights turned on. <laughs> I could give this a Core Circuit TV. That's not his name. It's just his name on Twitter, so that's like his name for everything. I could just be like, hey, could you do me a solid and just make a PNG of Omar dancing? Kind of like that one raccoon from the Happy Raccoons guy. I love that guy. You have no idea. Okay, listen. I want you all to know right now. More than anything in the world, if you have made it this far in the audio, there is two things you can give me for my birthday. Okay? This is this is Maz talking as Omar now. Two things. One, donate money to people who need it. Donate to the homeless. Donate to... Like, go out and do something nice. If you want to do something nice for me, do that. But, if I'm also being honest, you could, uh... I, I only need like maybe 80 bucks to commission an artist to make a full rendition of Omar in all of his paladin glory. You have no idea. In fact, if you give me more than $80, if you give me four times 80, which is numbers because I'm so good at math, if I were to like give you that information, right, I could have Omar, Omar, and his three kids. Okay, may I, actually, it may be... uh. I don't know how much that would be to have a raccoon family. Like, to have, like, Oma, Goblin, the little one, Wimdy, 
and Clementine as well as Omar just being fun, like in the middle of an activity, like whether it's picnicking or like running around. My idea would be Omar and Omar looking at each other lovingly as their kids run around like goblin climbing on Omar and then the like Wimdy and Clementine chasing each other while one's got like a weird bug in its hand and the other one's holding a fruit. That's what I would want a commission. That's what I would want artwork of. That would make me so happy. Listen, stream of consciousness aside, you guys don't have to do any of that. You guys have supported me enough just by watching this video, liking the video, subscribing, doing all that, you know, YouTube bullcrap. And for the people on Patreon, Arahara with the lights turned on. I've mentioned you guys a whole bunch. Um, you might start seeing that I'm doing the title cards that, uh, not title cards, but the, the end credits with like all of the names. I don't know what happened, but I blew up. Like everything blew up. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like everything's gotten so big and I'm just like, how did I, a raccoon man, get this to happen? How did Mazarus get this to happen? How, who, am, am I talented? Is that what happened? But like, I don't know. Maybe I am. And and you know what that's that's beside the point. Self self doubt besides the point. I know I can make the sexy noises with my, my mouth. Like, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Congratulations on the nineties kids who got that reference. Ah <laughs> <laughs> with the lights turned on. <laughs> okay. But seriously. Thank you all so very much for letting me be a weird little YouTube guy, uh, being a raccoon person who came out here and said happy birthday to myself. That's not weird at all. Um, that's not weird at all. Don't think about it too much. Uh, but thank you all for supporting me. Oh, Maz, you're here. I've been here the entire time. Oh. Is that your hand up my- No. They don't know that. They can't see anything. Stop it. I'm going to have to say, make me. Get out of the booth. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, and one more. Get out of here. Fine. Thank you all so much. Like, seriously. Like, from the bottom of my heart. Um, Being 34 doesn't feel all that different anymore <laughs> uh being in 2024 just feels like an extension of 2023 i'm still at that stage of like writing 2023 instead of 2024 whenever i sign anything so that's where i'm at right now and i'm sure a lot of you are right there with me but uh seriously thank you all so very much you have made this journey wonderful i I'm very grateful. Really. And I also, like, Omar is correct. We should be anarcho-communist. Capitalism has failed us. If you don't agree with my political leanings, then I'm very sorry. But that's not going to stop my voice from being sexy, and that's not going to stop my audios from being fun. Um, I'd hope that doesn't stop you from coming to my channel, because, I mean, what am I going to do about it? Other than, like, vote. Which... As an American citizen is my right. You can't stop me. Motherfucker. <laughs> huh. You know, maybe Omar had something, like, maybe Omar was right. Maybe there's a little bit of Arahara going on. Anyway. Political stuff aside, thank you guys so very much. And, as always, I'll see you in the next audio. Sweet dreams. And pleasant nightmares. By the way, remember, I do have merch um, through two stores, including Redbubble. Uh, if you guys want to buy merchandise with the phrase Sweet Dreams and Pleasant Nightmares, or you want to buy some of Random Jumble's work, or Squishy Devil, or Pally, because Pally makes some good fucking artwork as well, um... The audio, like, the audio is obviously great, but if you want to support the artist as well, um, I'm going to say that, like, I haven't made any sales, so I can't really 
do this right now, but like, I would like to give some of that back to the artists. You know, it, I don't get a huge cut from the store, so anything you guys buy, I'll probably turn around and be like, hey, I'd like to use this money to commission more artwork from these amazing people. Anyway, as I said, um, artwork would be fantastic to get, but in the meantime, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you for letting me have this stream of consciousness. Um, genuinely, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.